So you decided to embark on your ketogenic journey, but what is worse than starting on your diet, opening that fridge and realizing you're missing a basic ingredient or opening the pantry doors and seeing that, again, you're missing a basic ingredient. And worst of all, you're ready to make your chaffles and you don't have a chaffle maker. For this reason, I decided to put together a short series of the essentials for keto. I'm gonna go over what you need for your pantry, what you need to have in your fridge and freezer, and of course, what I believe are your keto kitchen essentials. In this video, we're gonna be going over your keto pantry staples. <laughs> But who am I anyway? Well, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Talita from Shrinking with Keto. And throughout my ketogenic journey, I have now lost over 200 pounds and reversed my type 2 diabetes. Now, throughout this journey, I have helped and coached plenty of people reach their goal. And I hope I can do the same for you. So let's start with your pantry. Now, please get rid of all the things that are not keto friendly because as I have mentioned previously in my other videos, the last thing you want to do is walk by your pantry and see chocolate chip cookies. I mean, really, you don't need those temptations in front of you. But if you do have people in your family that are not ketoers or children, make sure you keep all the non-keto products at the bottom of your pantry so they're not at eye level. Instead, stock the items at eye level that are helping you on your ketogenic journey. Whether you're into baking or not, two of my basic keto essentials for your pantry are coconut flour and almond flour. Now, coconut flour and almond flour are not only for baking. Many times you wanna bread something and put it in your air fryer, or for example, one of the yummiest things you can try is just getting some mozzarella, breading it in egg wash and almond flour, and frying it. Or you might find an inspiring one minute recipe on this video that gives you a one minute keto bread that you just pop in your microwave and you're gonna need that almond flour. Or even just a sweet tooth one night and you wanna make a chocolate keto mug cake, you're gonna need that coconut flour. So make sure you have almond flour and coconut flour in your pantry. Another thing you're gonna need to have to pair these together is baking powder, but not just any baking powder. Make sure you find keto-friendly baking powder. Next, I'm gonna move you over to spices. Now, because there's plenty of nice spice mixes out there, but a lot of them are not keto-friendly because they have sugar inside, you wanna make sure you have a nice variety of spices. So you can make your own barbecue spices, you can make your own taco seasonings. Make sure that all your spices are starch-free and sugar-free. Next, I'm gonna to move to the sweetener, and a lot of you are gonna say, it's okay, I just have a sweetener, I have it on hand. Oh, but listen, you might find that recipe that calls for another sweetener. For example, I have used erythritol in most of my ketogenic journey, but there are recipes that call for liquid sweetener, and you do not wanna make the mistake I did of trying to get my granulated erythritol in a liquid form, and then that kind of turns crystallized and yucky and icky, and it just messes up the whole recipe. So make sure you have your sweetener, whatever it is, erythritol, monk fruit, and liquid sweetener in your pantry. Now, it's not gonna go bad, so just keep it there, just in case you need it for one of those recipes. Another thing you wanna make sure you have in your pantry are condiments. There is plenty of condiments to choose from, such as mustard, sugar-free ketchup, sugar-free barbecue sauce. Let me get a little specific. I always like to keep two types of mustard, a mild mustard that is always keto approved, and one of the ones I use is Frenchies. And you might wanna keep a mustard that's a little more spicy or a little more intense, like Dijon mustard. Now keep those mustards in your pantry because you can make an amazing marinade with sugar-free maple syrup, which is another thing you should always have in your pantry. Again, you might not be a baker, but you never know what morning you might choose to make some keto pancakes. In my opinion, one of the best brands, and by no means are they sponsoring this video, this is just my personal opinion. The best brand that you can find keto-proofed condiments is Primal Kitchen. Now, Primal Kitchen has an amazing unsweetened ketchup and it also makes mayonnaise. It also has an amazing ranch dressing and balsamic dressing that are both made with avocado oil. Now, I'm not gonna go down the whole list of Primal Kitchen dressings and condiments, but they have a wide variety that are all 
keto approved. And I will be linking them in the description below. Another staple for your pantry are healthy fats. Now you want to have avocado oil and olive oil and coconut oil. And why all three? Because each of them pair differently with the recipes that you can use for your ketogenic diet. For example, avocado oil has a higher smoking point than olive oil and coconut oil might taste better with some of the recipes. Now these three oils are very healthy in general, not just on the ketogenic diet and there are three fats that you wanna definitely have in your pantry. Now before we move on to the next pantry items, let me interrupt you for a second. If this is the first time you're seeing this pretty face, let's make sure it's not the last. So please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and ring that bell icon so that YouTube can let you know every single time I make a new video for you. And please feel free to ask me anything you want down in the comment section below and I will try my best to answer every single one of your questions. Seeds are something that you want to keep in your pantry for two reasons. One, when you're starting on your ketogenic journey, you might feel like snacking. And if you have some seeds in there, they're going to be very satiating, especially chia seeds. I use chia seeds for many reasons. I can use them to thicken up a soup. And I know this sounds weird, but they actually taste good because they give some texture as well. I use them to make a sweet pudding just by adding some heavy cream, sweetener, vanilla extract, and chia seeds. And it makes them into an amazing chia seed pudding. And you might also need them in your smoothies. Now they're very quick and they're very satiating. You should also keep pumpkin seeds or sunflower seeds for snacking. Now along with the seeds in your pantry, you also wanna have some nuts. Again, nuts are perfect for snacking on keto and also they're a very healthy fat. Another thing that nuts provide is texture. A lot of times I hear complaints about, okay, so keto's not that hard, but I miss the crunch. I miss the texture. You will be surprised how many times I have tossed in some salted almonds in my roast just to give it some texture. And while we're on the subject of texture and snacking, you want to have a couple of bags of pork rinds. Now, I'm not a big person on snacking, but I also have been on my journey for three years, so I don't necessarily feel the need to snack. But when you're first starting on the ketogenic journey, you are going to want to snack. And I would much rather have you munching on pork rinds than anything else. Pork rinds also make an amazing, amazing breading. For example, you can substitute almost every breaded recipe that you have been consuming with pork rinds. All you need to do is grind them up. I add a little bit more seasoning, maybe some almond flour, bread whatever it is you were going to bread to begin with with panko and air fry it. Another perfect keto snack to keep in your pantry are olives. Olives are a very healthy fat and definitely approved on the ketogenic journey. Now when it comes to snacking again, if you're very careful when reading the label, make sure there is no extra added sugar and sugar has 56 names. You can also keep some beef jerky in your pantry for emergency cases. And while we're on the subject of protein, perfect for the ketogenic diet are also tuna cans and sardines. You also want to keep a couple of cartons of bone broth, not only for cooking, but let's just assume you follow my advice and go on a fasting protocol. Bone broth is the perfect thing you want to break your fast with. Now, Kettle and Fire, and again, they're not sponsoring this video, it's just a brand I love. I didn't mention nut butters quite yet, but I'm going to mention them now. Nut butters are great. They're very satiating and they can satisfy both a salty and a sweet tooth. And I know that sounds confusing, but sometimes whether we want something salt or sweet, it's just 1% away. Sometimes you can satisfy your sweet craving by having a nut butter. I want you to be very careful with nut butters because the carb count can quickly add up. And I want you to look at the quality of the ingredients. Please don't use store-bought peanut butter. It has sugar and it has unhealthy oils. Again, for nut butters, you can look at Primal Kitchen or a couple of nut butters that I'm going to link in the description below. And even though I'm not a great tomato person when it comes to keto, because people very, very often overdo their carbs when it comes to tomato or marinara sauce. They do have sugar-free marinara sauce, but if you're going to eat a bottle of it, it's going to add up to your carbs. And finally, what you've all been waiting for, cookies, chocolates, and snacks. Oh no, she said it. Yes, I did. Look, if I don't mention it, it doesn't mean you're not going to consume it. Everybody, well, not everybody, but almost everybody, when they start on their ketogenic journey, they ask me what kind of sweets are approved. I'm going to say this with a grain of salt, but 
if you want to keep some chocolate in your pantry, make sure it's chocolate that's keto approved. In my opinion, Lily's chocolate is good to go for keto and dark chocolate over 85%. The problem with keeping it in your pantry is that you're not just going to have a little bit. If you're going to go in and have a carton of Lily's chocolate and you go through that whole carton, you might as well throw yourself out of ketosis to begin with. If you have self-discipline, go ahead and keep some Lily's chocolate or better, some chocolate chips where you can actually count the amount you're having in your pantry. But if you feel you do not have the discipline, initially do not keep any sweets, even if they're keto approved, in your pantry. Instead, opt for getting some organic cacao. Now with organic cacao, you can make, and the almond flour, you can make a quick chocolate mug cake in your microwave, but because you're gonna go through the process of actually making it, chances are you're gonna have it less than if you're just pulling out a chocolate from the pantry. Now for the majority of the things that I mentioned, I'm gonna have links in the description below. Even though this video is not sponsored, I want you to know that the links are affiliate links. You won't be paying anything extra, but you will be supporting this channel. Finally, a small thing I did not mention earlier because it could be in your pantry, in your fridge, on the cupboard, wherever, but I do believe it's a keto staple is apple cider vinegar. Now I use apple cider vinegar every day. If you can add it either to your dressing or your salad or drink it just like that, an apple cider vinegar has so many other health benefits that assist you on your ketogenic journey. Now, if you want to know more about apple cider vinegar, you can check right here. And if you want more instructions on how to start your ketogenic journey right now, you can check the video right here. And also down below, you will find the keto food list to start you off on your ketogenic journey. Now, if you have gotten any value out of this video, I will kindly ask you to press the thumbs up button as this helps YouTube take this content and push it out to more people that need it, just like you. So there you have it, the pantry staples to start off on your ketogenic journey. And as always, chin up, or you know by now, the crown slips.